In this example, we will continue to study the combination formula. Solve for the unknown algebraically. In part A, find n in n choose 4 over n minus 2 choose 2 equals 1. Expand the numerator and denominator using the combination formula. Simplify. Multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. Cancel. Expand the numerator. Stop at n minus 2 factorial since it cancels out the n minus 2 factorial in the denominator. Cancel. Cross multiply. Bring all terms to the left side. Factor the trinomial. The solutions to the equation are n equals negative 3 and 4. Reject negative 3 because we can't use negative numbers in combinations. The answer is n equals 4. In part b, find n in n choose r over n choose n minus r equals 1. Expand the numerator and denominator using the combination formula. Simplify. Multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. All terms cancel out. The variables cancel out completely, so the original equation holds true for all possible n values, where n is a natural number. Another way to interpret the result is that n choose r equals n choose n minus r, so, as an example, all of the following are true. 8 choose 3 equals 8 choose 5, 5 choose 2 equals 5 choose 3, and 12 choose 5 equals 12 choose 7. In part c, find n in n minus 1 p 3 equals 2 times n minus 1 c 2. Expand the permutation and combination. Simplify. Cancel. Cross multiply. Expand the left side. Stop at n minus 4 factorial since it cancels with the right side. Cancel the n minus 4 factorials. The answer is n equals 4. In part d, find n in n plus 1 choose 2 equals 1 half times n plus 2 choose 3. Expand using the combination formula. Simplify. Simplify further. Cross multiply. Cancel. Expand the right side. 
Stop at n plus 1 factorial since it cancels with the left side. Cancel. The answer is n equals 4.